metabolism as you know it is the uh, sequences of chemical reactions that happens in a cell it involves synth synthesis of biomolecules and it also involves a uh, degradation of biomolecules and energy is released in this particular video we are going to look at uh, some of the general features of uh, metabolism why we need to look at the general features of metabolism if you look at a cell a cell will have thousands of reactions you know that it is not possible to isolate all these intermediates isolate the enzymes and to study the reactions it is not possible now when you look at collectively when you look at all that is happening in a cell it's very evident that there are very specific set of reactions happening there may be only about 100 major molecules which are taking part in metabolic reactions and there are very specific kind of reactions taking place maybe about six different types of reactions or kinds of reactions are taking place so therefore we can categorize them this belongs to this group second group third group fourth group we are able to categorize them that makes studying of metabolism interesting and easy it is in that context we are going to look at the general features of metabolism across all the thousands of reactions that you can see these general features will apply look at for the first general feature of metabolism what is interesting is uh, overall you will find three types of reactions in the three types of reaction first one is uh, what we call it a linear pathway linear metabolic reactions linear pathway linear pathway means you know you have a as a starting material a will give rise to b b will give rise to c and c will give rise to a product b it is called a linear pathway classic examples are uh, you know degradation of a carbohydrate synthesis of monosaccharides amino acid synthesis all these are examples of linear pathway in the second kind of pathway that you will find is uh, you know a is converted to b b is converted to c c is converted to uh, d and d is again converted to a it is called a cyclic pathway so you have the second kind cyclic pathway classic examples tca cycle underlining the word cycle urea cycle okay so these are examples of cycles in the third kind of pathway is so this is the first one second one the third it is uh, uh, it is neither linear nor cyclic in the same set of enzymes are used same set of enzymes are used to achieve something then that is being repeated again and again so this is called a spiral pathway same set of enzymes are repeatedly used in order to produce a product classic examples of spiral pathways are fatty acid oxidation and also fatty acid synthesis these are examples of a, a, a spiral pathway so therefore the first general feature of metabolism is there are three kinds of pathways linear cyclic and spiral pathways now if these are the three kinds let us see how these enzymes of these pathways are arranged you will also find three kinds of arrangement of enzymes in the first kind of arrangement of enzyme is if a has to be converted to b and b has to be converted to c uh, you will have an enzyme here okay this is enzyme number one this is enzyme number two and this is enzyme number three c is converted to p linearly arranged or they may be randomly present in a cell this is one way of arranging enzymes if the second way to arrange enzyme is they are arranged into a kind of a complex so that is the second kind that is enzyme number e1 is here then you have e2 is here e3 is here e4 it is arranged into e5 e6 e7 they are arranged into a cluster okay such clusters you will find in fatty acid synthase complex a classic example 
they are arranged into a cluster. PDH complex arranged into a cluster. What is the biggest advantage of this arrangement? The biggest advantage is all these enzymes are in close vicinity. So what happens is if a product is formed from E1, where should it go next? It should go to E2. So if the enzyme is in close vicinity, directly it is given. There is no wastage that happens in the process of transferring an intermediate from one active site to the next active site. Enzyme becomes very efficient. This is an important aspect of arranging enzyme into a complex. If the third kind of arrangement is what is generally seen in the example of electron transport chain. So how is it the enzymes arranged in electron transport chain? Assume this is the plasma membrane. So you have enzyme number one here on the exterior side. Enzyme number 2, enzyme number 3, and enzyme number 4 in the interior side. See the sequences. So therefore, an intermediate from here, it will be, an equal to an intermediate will be transferred into the inside portion. So these are the three ways of arranging enzymes in order to make metabolic reactions more efficient.